Hello everyone, this is Mahdi from Onyx Design. Uh, we are a group of uh, jewelry designers and render artists. Uh, in this video, which is being recorded for our blog section of our website, uh, I'm going to talk about how to um, fix the problem of um, some open edges, some probable open edges in your um, surfaces and poly surfaces, and uh, how to have uh, a watertight closed mesh or poly surface, which which is three uh, D printable, and um, you can go on and um, finish your design. So uh, we have two kind of openings, as you can see. Um, um, before that, uh, let's see how we can make sure if our object is open or closed. It's very simple. You just uh, need to select your uh, object, go to the properties panel, and in here you can see, you can read if the object is open or closed. For example, this one uh, obviously is open. This one is the same. It says open poly surface. And uh, this is very useful because um, sometimes, actually most of the time, your object will be uh, very uh, complicated. The opening may, might be um, very small in a scale. And uh, you can't just, you know, use your observation to find the opening. Uh, so um, just checking the, the object type could help you uh, find uh, find out if your object is open or closed. There is another method uh, I'm going to explain a little bit later. But uh, what can we do? Uh, if your opening, for example, in the object in the left side is planar, which we can see in, for example, in front view, right view. If it's planar, you can simply use cap command. It simply finds the um, the border, creates a surface, a planar surface, and join it and join them together. Then you will have a closed poly surface. So this is a very simple and very beginner type of uh, thing. But uh, sometimes we have a non-planar uh, open edge, something like that, and obviously you can't cap this because it's not planar. But there are many different uh, methods and approaches which I'm gonna uh, show to you. Um, some of them in some situation may work or not. You have to try different methods, different, dif different approaches in for every situation. Uh, but knowing all of them will help, help you uh, overcome the situation. Um, most likely. So uh, let's treat this. Uh, sometimes uh, the opening is uh, really small, for example, I don't know, maybe less than um, half a millimeter or even a smaller. Um, in those situations, and if your model is gonna be, uh, for example, if in jewelry um, in the last phase. Um, your product will be polished by hand, you, you know, manually it will be polished, so uh, you don't need to uh, have a 100% accurate model, printed, printed model, so uh, there is a very uh, dirty way of uh, treating this kind of um, openings, which is not professional by no means, but it's practical. So what I'm gonna do is close the gap with a sphere and simply use Boolean union. Now it's closed, as you can see. Obviously, it's not very clean. It's not probably what we want, but it's pretty fast that it just works so sometimes for example 
you might be filleting some edges i don't know and the fillet makes your object open you can fill the gap with uh, a simple sphere so that's an amateur way of um, dealing with that but let's go for some more professional uh, methods uh, there is a very um, a golden command in this situation called duplicate border which is very useful when you use this, this command on your object it simply marks uh, the opening of your edge with a closed curve so this is very not always closed curve but with a curve which is closed in here and it's really useful because you can use this curve as a rail i don't know as a, a profile or to uh, use different other different commands and close your uh, opening from i'm gonna use a point in here move the point to i don't know some point in center maybe let's say here and connect the point and our duplicated border with a simple line nothing really serious and i'm gonna reuse the rail revolve okay says so uh select profile curve and this is our rail and for axis i'm gonna use our point so here it is i'm gonna use this as a cap join these two together and now we have a closed poly surface so this is one of the methods you can use uh, and let's go for another one uh, for the next one i'm gonna duplicate uh, our um, edge right above that and i'm going to uh, project our curve to our c plane to make it planner this is what we have here you can see this is our curve but now it's planner and that's gonna need this and now we can uh, loft these two together let's keep the settings so uh, after joining these two together now we have a planner opening which can be capped here it is we have a closed poly surface so actually basically i'm rebuilding the this cylinder which it was uh, if you need some uh i don't know maybe uh, a dome shape again you can duplicate the uh, our border scale it down project the C plane to make it planner and what, and what I'm, I'm gonna do is connect our border and our I don't know our second rail with some um, control point curve I'm using control point curve because I want uh, my um, surface, my my outer surface, to be uh, tangent to our prior surface. So next point uh, in in line with our uh, um, prior surface. Using smart track to do the same. Or destination 
Now we have two rails and a profile, so I'm gonna use sweep two. First rail, second rail, section curve. Okay, let's do it one once more. Here it is. And I'm gonna cap this with a planner surface. First, second, and third join, and we have a closed poly surface. So we capped it in a smooth manner. But there are more different ways. Uh, here, what I'm gonna do is to split my a uh, curve in two. Let me find its end. Its middle. Okay, so we have two curves. Actually, basically, I uh, splitted uh, my duplicated border in half. Now I'm gonna use this to uh, to cap the opening uh, okay i'm gonna uh use a line to connect these two curves together by it by, by their middles but let me first reveal the, this curve to a uh, uh, something with more control points to Give some shape to it, for example, I don't know, something like this. Okay, now I'm gonna use the sweep to command, use uh, half of our curve as first rail, another half second rail. I'm going to start by point from where they um, touch each other. Then use our curve, and lastly, or end to. Not messing with uh, settings. Just gonna join this together, and here we go. We have another closed poly surface. So here is another way. Um, let's do another one. I'm, go I'm just gonna simply loft these two together. Loft. Keep the settings. Surface is not very clean, but it's, it just does the job. So, again, we have a closed power surface using loft on two sides of the curve. Uh, let me think of other ways. Oh, there is a, a useful command called patch, which sometimes works, sometimes simply doesn't. It depends. It depends on your luck. I'm gonna try it in here. Um, let me reduce the spans. Okay. We can use it um, without tangency or with tangency. It worked! Ah, miracle. So we have a closed poly surface again using patch command. What I'm telling you, sometimes it just doesn't work. There are some external plugins you can use too. But first, let, let me duplicate border again uh, there is a plugin called Autodesk Shape Modeling which you probably have heard of uh, I'm going to use its multi-blend command it gives you very nice and smooth surfaces not always works but I hope this works in here in our situation and it did here we have a closed poly surface using multi-blend 
And uh, let me do get rid of them. And there is a plugin called D Loft. You can simply use these use that. But let me uh, split it again. Doing points and the middle, okay. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna use first curve, second curve, and let the D loft do the job. Okay. Join. And it's close. So, uh, here it is. Uh, these are my ways of dealing with any, uh, any holes in our object that prevents it from being watertight. Uh, sorry if the voice quality or the instructions are not um, clear because it's my first time recording such videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe in case you need uh, more of these kind of practical uh, tutorials, I don't know, videos, tips, tricks and stuff. And uh, check our website's blog, um, which I will um, put in the description section. Uh, check our blog section because uh, we might have some um, written articles or even some uh, software reviews by um, software users. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, see you around.